I wanna fly high. Somebody will be. I wanna fly to space. We bump. Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX. So last time, we got started climbing up Nutty Noon. Of course, getting more spheres, you know, going through our little adventure. So today, let's continue onward, upward, shall we? With this gorgeous background, oh, okay. So, kill these caboose with the shoe, and we can get going. Oh, wait. oh, damn it! I think I needed that. Actually, wait, 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 hold on. I think the first shoe is like never ever required for anything. I think it's only like in the next shoe that's like really required stuff. Yeah, there's always another shoe. Just like there's always another fish. 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 Life that I don't need. Boom. Alright, there we go. So, first sphere. First sphere is right there. Yep. Always right there. And it always will be right there, regardless of the fact that we're playing EX mode or not. Yeah, completely neglected to mention that. All the energy spheres that can be found here in EX mode, they are found in the main mode as well. So, no matter what, they're always going to be in the same place. It's pretty much just like I said, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, regardless of whether you're playing in EX mode or not, it's basically essentially the same game, except, you know, one's a higher difficulty and one's the normal difficulty, so... Yeah. That's the big picture here. That's the main style. That's the main grace. That's the main funny face. But, uh, yeah. Let's continue. Let's move on. And yay! Sky Tower! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, never mind. Never mind what I said then. <laughs> never mind what I said about this song only being used once. It's used many times. Many given times. Except we're in space now, so that's a given. Alright, Super Bonkers. Again. Alright, kill him with the... Ow. Yeah, kill him with the Ow. But uh, let's actually kill him with the Inferno. Yeah, boy! Yeah, oh. Damn it. Okay. Let's hammer flip again. Yeah, nope. You know what? Just free fighter on him. Just free fighter on him. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's... Okay, there we go. Now we get... You know what? Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to kill him the old-fashioned way, then. Alright. Yeah, throw yell things. And... Oh! 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 Okay. Don't you die. Don't you die! There we go! Alright. Throw your things. And... Bye-bye. Bye-bye, sir. Hello, Grand Hammer! Alright. So, here's the thing what you want to do with Grand Hammer in this level. Keep it. And be sure to pound in anything that you can with it. Be sure to do that. Because you'll never know what you're gonna find. Actually, I will tell you exactly what you'll find. You'll find your way to the dimension place. If you pound in every single stake that you can. Because if you don't, then, you know, the super ability section is just going to end immediately. So, yeah. Just be sure to keep Grand Hammer with you. And be sure to pound in any everything that you can, or at least the wooden stakes. But, I would just suggest, you know, pounding in, you know, everything anyway, so... Yeah. Just do that. Either way, uh... Let's do that. Let's move on here. Get the stars. This is like the most lives I've ever gotten so far, like... 27 lives. Or at least in this section, or in this, or in this session. At least. Okay. Pound in you, because when we pound in one thing, it automatically kills everything else, apparently. So, yeah. Alright. So now we are, now we are moving up in the world. We are moving up to space, apparently. Because apparently, according to Nutty Noon, even though it's technically noon, it's a tower. 
and apparently the tower goes up to freaking space. And we have to hammer in the spring, which will make us, you know, go all super crazy and just propel at such high speeds that we break all these blocks, including the bell. <laughs> and that's what the bell was for all along. The bell was used for all sorts of things, and it gave Kirby, like, a massive concussion. But, of course Kirby is alright. Of course Kirby is okay. He's made a squishy marshmallow. He's alright. Oh god, this one. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of moving platforms here. And, you know, that could potentially be a bad thing- oh. Oh! Yeah, like I said, that could be potentially a bad thing. Oh god, okay. So, going again. Try again. <laughs> Don't worry, even in EX mode they give you a break. Or in extra mode, they give you a break. Or Kirby's... Should I call this Return to Dreamland Extra or... Nah. I'm calling it EX because EX sounds cooler. Like... You know they have those po You know they have those Pokemon trading cards? Like, the EX training card series? Well, you know... I should be allowed to call it, like... Uh... EX. Get out of here. Get out of here, wall. I don't need you, wall! I am Wall, you'll never defeat me. No Wall, you, you won't defeat me. You won't defeat me, Snake. Hello, giant Waddle Dees. You have the same, like, idle animation as Kirby. Look at him, he's swinging his arms around. Like, <laughs> apparently the Waddle Dees are like the only creatures ever to be like Kirby in some way. And in that way, it's called idle animations. Idle animations. I'm taking spear. And, well, actually, nah, I won't need it. In fact, I will need it for dealing, like, a little bit of chip damage first off. And so I can get my usual spark. Alright. So, do our chip damage. Do the chip! Chip, chip, chip! Or at least mash the controller, the potato mash controller. And, oh, guard. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah! And, yeah! There we are. So, yeah, this arena is going to be moving about. So, yeah, fall into that, and that's kill. And that's a kill for you, and for me, and for everyone else who, fall in, who fell into that pit. Hi! Yeah. And out here... This is the area where you would have ended up should you gone on the top path. So yeah, very, very important that, you know, you go down the other pathway because that's where, you know, the dimension place is. Yeah, boy. That's my own acapella of Kirby of the Victory Dance, by the way. Just saying. Just saying, that's a thing. Alright. Copy ability room four. Alright, so now we have all the copy room abilities unlocked. Technically. Because we didn't unlock them yet, but whatever. Stage five. Things are getting serious. Everything's all quiet. It's serious. Don't go into that door. Go into this one. And you have your selection of abilities here. And a maximum tomato box, should you need one. But I don't need it. I got spark. Let's go. Mini boss rush! All right, mini boss rush time. So, yeah, this level is just basically a, a mini boss rush. And for the energy spheres, you're gonna want to go into that jail door. Um, I will show off the uh, other pathway that you can, the other way that you can take. 
But for now, this is probably the most important path that you want to take. Because again, the energy spheres are here. Alright. So I'll just kill you. Yeah. And for each of the energy spheres here, you're going to need the ability of the mini boss for it. Because it's like I said, more often than not, you're going to need the mini boss ability for an energy sphere. And this level really brings that point home. But of course, we got Kirby's Return to Dreamlands variation of the famous DDD theme. So intense. And so catchy, too. It's so DDD. King Duel! King Duel. Alright, so... I might have Fighter, but I am gonna have to, you know, watch out. Because there are spikes on the ceiling. And of course, spikes aren't very good, which causes me to lose my ability! Jeez. Alright. So now I'm gonna have to wait. Okay. There we go. There we go. I said. There we go. Yeah, we... Go! Yeah. Beam. Beam, baby. Beam, babies. Alright. Dubia! Alright, so here's a new mini-boss here. Dubia. So, Dubia is known for one thing. Moving all about the place. And of course, granting the ability Spark to, you know, you. So, yeah. But Dubier likes to move around all over the place, making it kind of sort of hard to hit him. That is, if you're normal Kirby and you're trying to... Ow. I was adjusting my headphones! Jeez, they keep slipping out of my ears. It's probably not the best time for it. But yeah, Dubier loves to move all around the place. Shooting electricity at you, of course, is a big thing that he does. Or that it does. It's probably a robot. It doesn't have no gender. Okay. Oh. God damn it. No! Yep. <laughs> Beat his dumbass. And of course, Dubier will give you Spark. But I already have Spark anyway. Haha. <laughs> So, yeah, I am dead. <laughs> yeah, there's no healing in between King Du and Dubier, so, yeah. Anyway, get that energy sphere from that by using the uh, up one and down one abilities. And there you go. Now we move on to the next one. The next pair of bosses. I don't need whip. I have spark. Now you get to fight two mini bosses at the same time. We got Gigant Edge and Kibble Blade. Alright, so fighting too many bosses at once, once, uh, they have the same health bar. Meaning that, uh, even if, uh, Kibble Blade and Gigant Edge get down to, like, half health, um, it only count for, like, a quarter of, you know, the big health. So, yeah, half health equals a quarter portion of the big health, and I probably need- wait, actually. <sighs> Alright, got Cutter. I said got Cutter! From Kibble Blade. Because you're going to need one of those two abilities. You're going to need something sharp. Basically. And there. Simple. Which I completely forgot about. Because I was too busy being a doof. I was too busy being a doof. To remember that I was supposed to get one of those abilities, but I didn't. Because I'm such an idiot. Alright, so bonkers a mundo! <laughs> I always say a mundo like that. I was like, mundo! It's mundo! It's mukuto! Alright, come on. Alright, let's get rid of uh, mundo. If you're having trouble taking care of uh, one mini boss at a. one mini boss or two of them, just make it a note. Uh, you can take care of more than. Uh, you can. Basically, just just take care of one of them at a time. That's what I'm trying to say. Just take care of them one at a time in order to get your goal. And by the way, one-ups up the wazoo. There we go. 30 extra lives. Plus, you get some really good goodies, too. Including a maximum tomato, which I desperately need. 
Okay. So, with that, let's get the gold game again and get that one again because that's what I always like to do. That's what I like to do. And style. With style. Alright. So, we're done with stage five, right? Well, technically we are, but we actually aren't. You see, there's actually another pathway that you can take. And, you know, uh, we wanted to take care of the top path first in order to, you know, get the spheres. If you go down the regular path, you won't get the spheres. However, you'll have an easier time uh, taking care of uh, all the mini-bosses. So, I'm just going to speed this up and play the DDD thing that, you, that plays right here. So, why don't we just do that? So that's it. Uh, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, I was completely and utterly wrong on that aspect, actually. Oh my god. I always thought you had to take the top path in order to get the spheres, but I guess not. You can take the bottom path and, you know, you'll have an easier time. Just if you want the tougher option, then you can go to the top. You'll get more goodies nonetheless, anyway. Anyway. Boss time. Alright. So, I'm going to go at this with Hammer. Since I kept Hammer throughout that entire thing, I'm going to use Hammer. Because, as you saw right there, Hammer is probably my preferred choice when taking on bosses. You do have Fighter, Wing, Cutter, and Whip as options. But, I'll go with my trusty Hammer. Because Hammer has never failed me yet. Grand Duma EX! The lost energy spheres have created dimensional rifts. The Grand Duma has emerged from one such rift. And that's what we call the beginning of lore. Alright, so Grand Duma EX. He's just basically a buffed up uh, sphere doomer. Probably like the uh, ruler of all doomers, I guess. So, yeah. Watch out for his attacks, because he likes to use, like, portal-based attacks. He also likes to spit out those things that, you know, you've been using ever since, you know, day one of fighting the Sphere Doomers. Charge at you just like that on the ground. And, of course, with this being the EX version, he is much harder in a sense. Uh, do not step into that portal, by the way. <laughs> because if you do, then you're going to get captured by him. So, yeah. All right, now on to phase two. Phase two. All right, so phase two, I'm gonna actually drop hammer. He's going to utilize uh, the fire doomer's ability of uh, charging at you with fire. And I'm actually gonna go normal Kirby for this, actually, since I don't wanna cheese anything else. 
All right. So, well, well I, I meant to inhale. Yeah, I meant to inhale, like, all of those. All right. So he's going to spin around and do that. All right. Get him. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. So, of course, now he's going to get faster. He's going to shoot out those things from a distance. Pretty fast, actually. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's actually pretty tough. He is actually pretty tough to deal with, considering the fact that, you know, at max, you're at half, you're at half health than you normally would. And he can be a pretty deadly, you know, boss to deal with if you're not prepared. Oh, yeah. Also, he creates ice fields. So don't be in the area of his, like, ice attacks. What? Oh, jeez. Okay. Get him. Oh boy, oh boy, he's got stars. He's got stars on his health bar now. And, oh boy. God, he was a Scarfy. <laughs> okay, so the only way to deal with him is by commencing the destruction. <laughs> Commence the sword. <laughs> yep. So now we got to use the, our super abilities to deal with him now. If you want more food, then you might as well go ahead and... Uh, oh, nope. Didn't deal with him there. There we go. So really, when dealing with Grand Doomer in this state, he's not really that hard to deal with. Uh, you can't hit him while he's teleporting all around like that. But you can hit him when you're in the bus, when the, the proximity of him, basically. When you're in the proximity of unleashing your Ultra Sword. Again, you won't be able to hit him so long as he's teleporting like that because he cheats. And you won't be able to destroy Gordos, but such is life. Such is life. Hit him in it! Ooh, just on the tip. Just like Marth. All right, you fuck. Go over here and die. Kirby, the lore is back in business. The lore, the, the lore, the ores, both wings, the emblem, and the mast. Yep, it's all here. The moment I've been waiting for, it's here. You're my hero. And a promise is a promise. I owe you a trip to my home, a trip to Halkandra. Halkandra exists in another dimension. It's super far away, but the lore can fly us there in a blink of an eye. Pack some snicks, Kirby. We're off to Halkandra. Thank you. 
Kirby, that dragon. Its name is Landia. It's lived on this planet for ages, but it's always been fast asleep. Recently, however, it awoke and went on a rampage. Please, Kirby, you must defeat that crazy dragon. I know I asked a lot of you, but this is it. I swear. Hi, Kirby. Just when my ship was finally fixed. I never imagined something like this could happen once. But twice? I found 84 of the energy spheres and all the ships are about bleh. I've been to the mountain where Landia lives before. In this very ship, even. That sucker attacks out of nowhere. It's super scary. Very scary. The Lord got dinged up at that time, too. I'm getting really fed up with all this. But I'm sure you'll be fine. Just hurry up and defeat that dragon for me. And for Halkandra. Alright, we gotta defeat the one who's responsible for cra for making our friend miserable. But before we do that, of course, we want to unlock these rooms as always and per usual. So now we have all the copy abilities at our disposal. So that's cool. And of course we have the water room unlocked. But now... We shall go ahead and get out here. And once again, this is looking really different now. Yeah, look at where we are. That volcano! That's where we have to go. Things are getting, you know, rather mysterious now. Also listen to the wall map tune now. I find this so otherworldly. Like, any otherworldly thing in Kirby immediately intrigues me. And just from this t tune alone, just from this track alone, we're gonna be in some crazy stuff coming up ahead. So, now we got a brand new objective. We have to go to that very volcano where Landia lives and defeat him. But first, we have to get through the EGG ENGINES! <laughs> the EGG ENGINES! <laughs> Next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland EX... We're going to... Well, start exploring this brand new world, Halkandra. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.